Bellevue two years ago. My parents are from the Quad Cities. My mother, my excuse me, my mother, my mother is. So I always drive through Andrew. Um, I want to start a little bit by talking about what I'm going to do today. The purpose of my show today is to do two acts. The first thing we're going to do is at this little table. I have been consumed with this particular illusion since 1972. Okay, what it is, it's actually an effect that's, oh, the other thing, other than writing, we're going to talk about something else. And you know what that is? What? What, magic? But I learned magic through books. This is a well-worn book of mine. It's called Stars of Magic. It actually, is the mic still, are we still on? Did we go off? Are we on now? Did we go off? Are we on now? Did we? Can everyone still hear me though? Because I'm not going to stop. As long as everyone can hear me, I have no problem. We can hear can you. Can you all hear me? Okay, great. <laughs> Excuse me for saying y'all. <laughs> um, what we're going to talk about is I, I learned magic. I actually uh, had a magic store in my hometown. The gentleman that owned the magic store was named John Mendoza. John Mendoza was a professional magician and he ran the magic store. Now, if I went in there and John did a trick and I wanted to learn the effect, he would actually say, Mark, it's $15. And then he says, well, Mark, it's in this book called Stars of Magic that's $18.50. What would you rather do? Buy the book. Buy the book, exactly. So how I'm going to start today, I'm going to start today, and I even have the page marked, but every time I touch this book, I smile. I'm going to start with, it's called Die Vernon's Cups and Balls. Die Vernon was a Canadian Merlin that actually popularized this effect and created it to the level that I'm going to do it today. So, uh, by the way, Die Vernon used to do this effect with cups wrapped in paper. And I started the same way, but now... I'm a professional magician, so I get to use fancy magic wands. Okay, it's not that fancy. And I get to use cups, solid personal favorites of spun copper. These are fantastic. I'm actually going to let people see these, touch these. I thought I was losing the audience already. I would love like kids to touch them if you want. You can see it. It's very, very rare. <laughs> Very, very important to me, okay? And now I'm going to let, here, you can see one, because I let adults play too. <laughs> Hi, now you're going to look at one. Very, very important that we see these are just regular cups, so you don't screw them apart. There's no logging or anything. Okay, so you can see this one. Hello? Is this one hot now? Is this one hot now? Sorry, folks, for the introduction. Hi, how are you? Good. I like to do this effect for the young and the young at heart. Okay. 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 Thank you very much. It's just going to take me a minute to get the mic put back in, and then we'll proceed. I apologize for the interruption. Hi, give it back, lady. <laughs> <laughs> I have a weak finish. I think the 
audios right now. Is everyone comfortable? Watch. Just like, remember I said the eraser made the balls vanish? They just had to return back home to underneath the cups.